the single <gasps> That is an absolutely gorgeous statue. The craftsmanship. They know how to make a client. Can I help you? Name an appointment. Confirmed. Ularu is wrapping up a meeting with Genevieve. You can wait here or in the lobby area. I'll let you know when she's ready to see you. I see Imogene Salso is supposed to be with you. I'm right here, Maeve. Good. It should just be a moment. Well, sooner than I thought. Looks like Ularu's ready now. You know, if they aren't willing, that leaves us with only one option. God, Ularu. Is that always your response? I don't want another PR mess on my hands. Yes, Viv, because you're too good at your job. No, we can talk details later. My next appointment's here. Fine, but you can break this news to Alexis at our next meeting. Don't cause any trouble. Good, you're finally here. The one I've been hearing so much about. I'm Ularu Chen, head of operations here at Ryujin. So tell me, what do you think of your new job so far? In that case, it sounds like our initial impression of you is turning out to be quite accurate. Now, my dear genie here says you've been through the basics of what we do, and pulled off success every time. Five successful standard assignments, and one specialized. Oh, a few incidents here and there, but nothing we can't handle, right? I happen to have a personal assignment that I'd like to send you on. One that involves meeting up with an outside contact. Genie seems to think you're more than capable of handling it. He's the best operative I've ever hired. <laughs> Let's not forget the only operative you've ever hired. Meeting with outside contacts isn't always as straightforward as your past assignments. Some can be fickle or demanding, so you'll need to decide how to handle them and what decisions to make on the fly. Good, because if not, I can't imagine we have much use for you here at Ryujin. Your contact is Simon Rychek. He claims to have information on a new project that Infinity LTD is working on. He said it's a game changer that Ryujin would be especially interested in. So his asking price is the big thing to consider. Finance will reimburse up to a thousand credits. So if you have negotiation skills, use them. Oh, you'll get the information if you want to hang on to your job. Now, in order to confirm your identity, Simon prefers code phrases. I'll let Genie give you the details on this one because the concept is just beneath me. Simon is into sports, so he enjoys any opportunity to talk about them. At some point, he'll casually say, Looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. You get to respond with, Razor Derby is the only real sport. Got it? Oh my god, you corporate types never cease to amuse me. Now I feel like I'm trapped in some kind of spy thriller B-movie. You'll find him in Sidonia, so I hope your ship's fueled. Just look for him above the Lux condos in the plaza. You spoke very highly of this one, Genie. Let's hope he doesn't make a liar out of you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some things to take care of. Uh, thanks for the vote of confidence. The Eugene certainly spared no expense. This deal could be huge for my company.
We should have a talk. When you have the time, of course. What can I help you with? Back. When you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you. Building Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping. Lost, or just come to ask an out-of-work miner how his day's going. If only good thing worth talking about these days is sports. Speaking of, looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. Damn right it is. <laughs> I heard they were sending someone new. Nice to see you made it. I have information on a deal being proposed between Infinity LTD and Deimos Stockyards. It's my belief that your employers would be highly interested in the details. So I'm upping my price. It's steep, yes. But that is why I'm also offering a little side job if you can't pay up. For this little tidbit? <laughs> I like the way you think. Perhaps. Alright, I'll lower the price. But that's my final offer. Unless you may prefer the side job now. I knew you'd see reason. The information I have is on a deal for something called Project Dominion. 
I'm giving you two slates. They contain surveillance and interaction data for Stanley McMillan, the Infinity Rep, that I obtained myself. I'm also giving you a third slate because you're going to need to download the files on Project Dominion off his computer yourself. Nice doing business with you. Sidonia can have... What the hell are you doing in this dump of a city anyway? You draw the short stick at work or what? Infinity sent me to get Deimos to bite on a deal. It's even got a catchy code name. Project Dominion. Sounds like world domination to me, buddy. I'd buy into that in a heartbeat. Right? I'm telling you, this Project Dominion is the real deal. We ought to be selling this to Inception or Quantum. Hell, you should be in the Astral Lounge making Ryujin Industries beg for that tech. Ha! <laughs> That'd be the greatest irony of them all, but not this baby. Dominion is finally gonna put Infinity first. We'll beat Ryujin at their own game. of the ships for the UC Navy. If you ask me, that's a hell of a lucrative contract. When you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you.
see what kind of information you can get off of that. took longer than expected. I hope whatever information Simon had was worth it. <laughs> Project Dominion? That can't be right. Give me a moment to run a decryption. Let's see... Got the key, deciphering, and... done. Well, well, well. Looks like our friend Simon wasn't joking. Project Dominion isn't an Infinity LTD prototype. It's one of ours. <laughs> they didn't even bother to scrub the name. Meaning someone never thought they'd get caught. Come with me. Masako needs to hear about this. Don't cause any trouble. our latest junior operative. I sent him on an assignment to rendezvous with an informant. But here's the real news. Infinity LTD has gotten their hands on Project Dominion. Impossible. Not only that, they're trying to sell it under their own name. Of course they are. <sighs> we need fines to investigate this immediately. Since you found this information, I am trusting you to help investigate. You see, Project Dominion is confidential. It requires a high security clearance to even know it exists. If Infinity LTD has obtained any information on it, that means we have a very well-connected mole within our corporation. Exactly. I want you to go see Dalton Fines, our chief security officer. I'll send him the details. You've brought an enormous security violation to our attention, so I trust your help in any way possible. And thank you. Some operatives may have seized this as an opportunity for extortion. It's good to know your loyalty lies with us. So, thanks to your work in Sidonia, I'm told someone here has leaked information on Project Dominion to our adversaries at Infinity LTD. A mole within the company means a failing in my department. We're initiating Security Directive Theta. 
which means a full sweep of every employee in this building, Masako and myself included. It's certainly a failing, but for now, we're focusing on redemption. Directive Theta has one unique case, and that's Ularu Chen. The Directive calls for a specialized programmer known as Nix to investigate her, but he'll need your assistance for an unusual assignment. We don't deal in trust here. Think more in terms of mutual benefit and leverage. And in this case, it's mutual benefit. Nix will be giving you a program to run on Ularu's computer that will pull any data needed to prove her guilty or innocent. Your job is to infiltrate Ryujin Tower as an anonymous outsider in order to run this program. Completely off the books. This means your keycard will be turned off, and the security guards in the building will consider you to be trespassing. At least one of us is. In the meantime, I'll ensure all non-essential employees, Ularu included, have left the building, claiming routine security maintenance. During that time, I'll be unlocking access to the tower's ventilation system, which you can utilize to help avoid detection. I'm also issuing you a disruptor, which should help in avoiding casualties should a worst-case scenario turn up. Let me remind you that not only are we talking about innocent people, but these are also your co-workers. It's in your best interest, as well as Ryujin's, to make sure that no one is harmed. You'll meet Nix at Madame Sauvage's place. He knows Directive Theta has been enacted. Keep out of my way, and I'll keep out of yours. This deal could be huge for my company. It's a bad place for tourists these days. We should have a tour. When you have the time, of course. It's messed up when a guy like me is better off than those people carving chasm or working a desk job. You got an appointment? Because if not, consider this area reserved. Oh yeah, Dalton's little errand runner. I've written up a program just for the occasion, but as Ryujin knows, it's yours for either a price or a favor. A pleasure, as always. Your job is simple. Just run this little beauty on Ularo Chen's computer, and the program will take care of the rest. Once you're done, bring the slate back to me at my place. Whatever encryption Ularo has is bound to take some real work, more than my little setup here can handle. 
It's nice to see you know more than just sneaking around and talking a good game. Here's the slate. I'll be waiting. I haven't seen a leech in a while. You think the city got them all? Ever since we talked about the Battle of Cassiopeia, I can't get what happened out of my mind. Was it that obvious? Oh, I thought I'd get handle these memories, but until I return to Cassiopeia, I'll never be able to put this to rest. would like that. Actually, I need that. One problem, though. Pinpointing the crew's shuttle wreckage is going to be like trying to find a grain of salt in a sandbox. I think we need to start by locating my old campsite on Cassiopeia 1. What's there to tell? I survived. My crew didn't. Still, oh, I'll never forget my finger hovering over that launch button. Would I launch safely or explode into a fireball? It turned out that my shuttle had just enough power to allow an emergency landing on the planet's surface. I wouldn't call what I did a soft landing, but thank you all the same. Hold on. I don't know the exact location of my survival campsite. For that, we are going to have to head to Mast and see if we can get the information from my old friend, Admiral Logan. Your instincts are right on target. Logan and I butted heads more than once during my time with the Navigator Corps. We've never seen eye to eye. Look, I hope this isn't asking too much. Last thing I want to do is drag you into some kind of personal crusade. really needed a laugh. Truth is, I'm scared. When I set foot on Cassiopeia, I don't know if I'll be able to handle what I find. Ah, if I begin to fall apart, I'm going to need someone who can keep my spirits up. I know you will always been there when I've needed your help. Why you continue to support me, I'll never understand.
You're absolutely right. They do. Oh, I've been so busy searching the stars for answers. I've overlooked what's been in front of me all this time. True friendship. Something I've denied myself for far too long. Yes. Yes, you're absolutely right. Hey, um, anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. I know you have a lot to do. I really appreciate your offer to visit Cassiopeia. Hopefully, it'll bring me the closure that I've needed for far too long. If you don't mind, I'd like to speak to Admiral Logan sooner rather than later. Hurry back. You're making things harder for yourself. Stop running if you know what's good for you. Don't be stupid. Stop. Ryujin security. No sudden moves. Nice try, but the building is off limits. You sure didn't get in by any authorized means. I hear you. I'll be the judge of that. Look, I'd like to help, but... I'm still willing to talk. Yeah, I hope so. Look, I'll trust you. But if any of us catch you on another floor, we'll shoot first and ask questions later.
If you don't mind, I'd like to speak to Admiral. All right, let's go. for the job. Neon's the only place where my talents are actually respected. So, you made it. Guess Ryujin's security really is slipping. <laughs> Just brimming with confidence, aren't you? But I've seen your work in the Trade Tower, so I'll at least give you some credit. Now, I'll take that program back that I gave you. And let's give the data a look. All of that money at their disposal and a cutting-edge megacorp like Reusion can't prevent a hacker from leeching their data. <laughs> Unbelievable. I gave you to run on Ularu's computer basically opens an all-access back door for me. I can see everything and anything, so let's take a look. Ularu has some impressive encryption on her files. Not that I can't crack it, of course. Circumventing protections, running decryption. This should just take a moment now. Damn, I'm good. That went faster than I thought. I'm saving several files to a slate for Dalton, including access history and anything related to Project Dominion. Adding in new encryption for him as well, so he's the only one that can view these. And done. You're all set. I've got the new encrypted slate. Let me tell you, it looks like fun times ahead for Ryujin. Technically, I'm not supposed to look, but it's kind of hard to not see what's going on while running all my software. You do that. Here's the slate. As usual, always a pleasure doing business with Ryujin. It's a bad place for tourists these days.
been waiting for. Let's hear your report. I hope you realize what your negligence has cost this company. Your orders were to incapacitate or evade security, not go on a killing spree. You're damn right you've messed up. Part of your job here is to be prepared for anything. Now, let's see what sort of data was worth the lives you took. Was possible. But someone's been accessing Ularu's files remotely. It's quite a complicated trace, too. I'm impressed Nix was able to track all of this. Damn. And there's our culprit. Imogene Salzo, senior operations specialist, and one of the few I had in mind for who could pull this off. She has the means, and access. But things are rarely so cut and dry. Imogene? Hmm, she doesn't seem the type. But maybe that's her tactic. If she had me thinking that way, perhaps it proves that she's a master manipulator. Well, before we make any harsh decisions, I'll need to question her myself. I want you to head to her office and escort her here. We have to make sure she doesn't try anything before I have a chance to speak with her. Good. When you're dealing with corporate workers, discerning the truth from the lies is the hardest part. Don't cause any trouble. My company's future might be riding on this deal. to harass my text too much. They have work to do. Let me guess. Looking for Imogene? I'm sure you can tell by now. She isn't here. Which is a shame, since I have several documents I need her to sign off on. She's always been the master of avoiding desk work. I'm not even sure that's any business of yours. But I do enjoy keeping close tabs on my counterpart. Dare I ask why you need to know? Yeah, no thanks. Getting information out of Dalton is like talking to a wall. Besides, speculation is far more fun. I have Imogene's last location at Frankie's Grab and Go, which we all know is a front for the Sioka Syndicate. You'll want to get executive sign-off if you plan on chasing after her. I'd say Dalton is your best bet. Perhaps we need to get Dalton's permission to relieve ourselves as well. Good lord, this corporation keeps you on a short leash. Good. I'd hate to see what sort of drama might get stirred up if you went around him. Or maybe I'd love it. Keep the workplace interesting, right? <laughs> Word of advice. If you're planning on foregoing authorization and just tiptoeing your way to Imogene, park your friend at the door. Two's a crowd if you're trying to lay low. Good luck finding Imogene. Oh, and if you do catch up with her, be sure to let her know I had everything to do with it. Just waiting for more info. No Imogene, I see. Could she really be on to us already? Of 
course, Yuko would know. If Imogene's with the Syndicate, I can't just send you after her. You'll need to speak with Benjamin Bayou. We have to make sure he's aware of the situation. If we're lucky, he may even help us get to Imogene. Good, because without it, this adds a complexity that we do not have time for. Head over to the Trade Tower and be discreet. Let Bayou know that you're there on Ryujin's behalf. He may ask for credits or even a favor. Just give him what he wants. The sooner, the better. We don't want to give a clever mind like hers any more room than we have to. Just be sure to bring her back here in one piece. If she's truly the Mole, she'll have a lot to answer to. If she resists or tries to run, we have no choice but to take it as an admission of guilt. I'm afraid you'll have to dispose of her. Imogene has the potential to do this company a great deal of harm with her knowledge. She knows the consequences of betraying Ryujin, which makes her dangerous. If the situation does take a turn for the worst, I only ask that you perform a thorough search for any evidence she may have in her possession. I trust you won't let your past relationship cloud your judgment. This could be the most important thing. Besides, a bad place for tourists. See any heat leeches? I don't recall sending for anyone. What do you want? No. I can always make time when it comes to an old friend. So. What would be the reason? I may consider Ryujin an ally, but Dalton especially knows I don't give anything blindly. As long as it doesn't involve the Syndicate members themselves... I'll tell you what. I'll make sure the Syndicate lets you in hassle-free. 
Provided you do a little something for me. And what mutual benefit would that be? Of course. Ryujin's success always pays out when it comes to Neon Profits. This is starting to sound like my kind of deal. All right. You talk a good game. And I suppose if we're looking at a mutually beneficial situation, there's no reason for me not to allow such a small favor. Check in with Ms. Moore at Frankie's. I'll send word along that you're to be expected, so she shouldn't give you any trouble. Fair warning, the Syndicate should let you search any common areas, but if anyone catches you snooping around private quarters, I'll just say, be prepared for some hostilities. Besides, a bad place for tourists these days. All areas got to hell. Save it for someone who gives a damn. I'm a little busy right now. Need something? You lost, kiddo. Oh, so you're the one getting special treatment. You don't look like much to me. I've got one rule for you in there, so it shouldn't be hard to remember. Third floor is off limits. They catch you snooping around, and it's open season. That's what I'd like to hear. For the record, I'm only granting you access because I have to. You'll find that young lady you're looking for holed up in a room almost straight ahead. Just remember to keep your eyes on the prize. The less you consider this an open house, the better. Gangs think they run this city, but I don't see people building statues of the map. Amount of firepower is a bit of overkill. I figured our paths would cross sooner or later. Not that I thought I was safe, but I never expected anyone to just slip by all the syndicate here. I had a feeling you'd be the one to come after me. I know this doesn't look good, but I had no choice. Ularu set me up. Yes, I've been acting as a double agent, but because she ordered me to. The assignment was meant to deceive, not benefit. And Project Dominion is way above my pay grade. 
it'd be impossible for me to deliver it. At least, intentionally. Look, I only know about Project Dominion because I wanted to know exactly what I was being accused of leaking. But that tech is dangerous. An internal neuroamp that can theoretically control other people? If the evidence points to me, it's because Ularu used it to set me up. What better way to frame someone than to take control of their mind and have them actually perform the actions? The existence of a device that can control a person's mind is terrifying. Imagine the horrors you could... Oh, never mind. I don't want to think about it. It's the only scenario that makes sense. Besides, what's my motive? My career is solid at Ryujin. Infinity can't possibly beat my current benefits. Believe me, after having to play double agent, I've learned all of this firsthand. That's exactly what I've been doing here. Ularu has the skill to pull this off, but she's also been behind the desk for years now. I knew she'd miss something. This slate holds all the evidence against her. I just need you to deliver it to Dalton. It's the only way I can prove I'm innocent. I was hoping you would. I'm still going to lay low until I hear the coast is clear. As long as Ularu still thinks I'm on the run, she'll remain confident that her plan is working. And, I know you don't hear it much around the office, but... thanks. So Ularu is the actual culprit. You try anything. Look who's back. So tell me, what did you find out? <sighs> I had a feeling you'd say that. Enjoy your time with Dalton. It'll all trickle back to me sooner or later. You're back. And Imogene? So you did find her, and yet failed to bring her in. I'm looking forward to this explanation. Well, this evidence complicates the situation, if it points to Ularu. It's gonna take me some time to pass, because if it's legitimate, we need absolute certainty before making the accusation. You realize, if Imogene has misled you, she'll be long gone by now. Now, I need to undertake the laborious task of writing up a report to summarize all of this. 
In the meantime, Masako has requested your presence in R&D. She wants you to meet her in Vinakara's office. Once I've examined this evidence, I may need your help in moving forward. And not a word about this to anyone. I'll present what I have to the board once I've completed a full report.